A new record close for the S&P 500. In fact, big gains across the board on Wall Street. The Dow up 249 points, closing at 26,753. The S&P 500 up 27, ending at 2954. And the Nasdaq up 64 points to finish at 8,051. Market analysis now from Diana Lynn. She's with Advisor Investments in Newton, Massachusetts, and she's in the newsroom. Hi, Diana. Good evening, Brian. We still working on uh, Fed uh, hashing that over uh, on Wall Street. Is that why markets are up? Yes, the excitement of the uh, Fed announcement yesterday certainly carried over to today, leaving investors feeling confident, and that attributed to that strong market open. We did see a little bit of a pullback midday when President Trump made comments on Iran, but we ended the day on a high note. All right, let's talk about oil prices. Crude up 5% today. I assume that's because of what's going on in the Strait of Hormuz? Yes, absolutely. Any conflict in Iran could um, disrupt that flow of oil in the Persian Gulf. So understandably, oil prices are moving higher. However, this is not our only source of oil. So notably, gasoline prices are still 22 cents lower than the month of May. So this is wonderful news for all of us that are planning those summer vacation road trips. All right, let's stay on the uh, theme of vacations. Carnival Cruise Lines reporting today their second quarter earnings. How'd they do? Yes, they did report today. And despite exceeding analyst earnings expectation, shares of Carnival sunk today. Um, Profits rose, but the cruise line has cut their forward guidance, stating macroeconomic headwinds. Carnival has a unusually high exposure to Europe, and those uncertainties have really been weighing on the company. The stock was down 7.5% today. All right, let's talk about an IPO today, Slack Technologies, making their debut. How'd it go? Yes, they did, adding to that long list of big name IPOs that we've seen so far this year. Let's see, we've seen Pinterest, Lyft, Uber, Beyond Me, and now Slack. Slack is a um, kind of a teleconference digital communication tool that's allowing workers to um, kind of remote in and work securely regardless of their location. Okay, so something that business people would know about how the shares end up doing on the day? They did phenomenally. They were up an impressive 48% on their first day of trading, and they already have over 10 million users. Wow, so they were success right out of the box. Yes. What are we looking for uh, for tomorrow? Uh, tomorrow, we're going to see manufacturing data as well as existing home sales. All right, Diana Lynn, Advisor Investments, Newton, Massachusetts. Thanks, Diana. Thank you.